thing folks now as you guys know there was a uh, major uh, how come it's not rolling up what okay out uh, of the climate change and things like that now as you can see here there's a lot of people who you tend to do um, um, the rally I'm only specifically focusing on Australia because I'm from Australia now 300 estimated 100,000 from um, Victoria which is the state that I'm living there will be in 150 countries worldwide now the protesters for Australia they want to commit no coal oil gas projects 100% renewable energy exports by 2030 And finding transitional job creation for all fossil fuel to workers and community. You know what? I know new coal. We're going to get more coal, my friend. Because electric cars going to come in. We are going to have more coal, my friend. Oil is going to be reduced. Um, once electric car is rolled in. Gas, we still need our electricity. No, sorry. We still need our hot water and our heaters, my friend. Um, and it's all about this lady. Here. Who has uh, sparked this whole thing. Now, you know what, it's interesting to see this whole thing, you know, I'm not going to say anything bad about it, you know, everyone has the right to protest and everything, but, come on man, you're having the whole bloody school, you know, school to attend, even though it's the last day of the, you know, of their term, on attending this sort of um, protest, come on mate give these kids a chance to go to school I know the last day of school is nothing but some kids apparently you know they have to do this sort of stuff that somehow they have to attend to uh, the exams now I gotta find out which one it is I don't think it's this one I think it's this one there you go gotta go all the way up so this girl she's gonna miss out 25% of her mark but she says it's worth it. She's gonna. She'll be getting zero percent test because she will not be in school to sit. Instead, of joining thousands of protests. Okay. <coughs> to be honest, this is outrageous, man. So kids grow up skipping school and um, getting zero, and then when they go to the university, they are not most likely won't end up as a STEM degree. This boy here, Catholic. Uh, College year 11, similar dif uh, difficult decision. He want to take part in today's climate change, but risk missing his scheduled physics test. Now, teachers agrees to make an excuse, uh, exception and allow him to sit and test on Monday instead of today. Wow, it would be great if schools could change the rules so you can strike. Oh, wow, so you wanted to change the days of the strikes. So, we're going to normalize this whole thing now. Hmm? And you know, this is outrageous, honestly honestly outrageous and uh, it's outrageous now if you see the um the protest signs you know there's no planet b and it's just gone to the stage it's like save our only home <coughs> <coughs> sorry man i got the uh, hay for you i copped it really hard you know this is going crazy I'll be in school if the the earth was cool and I I remember last year they did a similar thing and they made students to go out their school and write some posters some of the school uh, one of the um, I remember the picture it uh, one of the students just typed in and say fuck Skomo Skomo that's our prime minister um, that's his um, aka name Skomo Scott Morrison and you know you're teaching kids how to do this sort of stuff yeah. mate I don't know what to say because the climate is changing why aren't we Skoma likes it hot there you go uh, there's a lot of signs we are the future we are the now you know these are the very very tactics that they use <coughs> Now you gotta teach students how to be um, future antifas and uh, you know the leftists uh, radical already. It's disgusting, man. I'm telling you guys now. You know, like, like I said, everyone has their right, but come on, man, you can't mix. Uh, 
kids missing the important school days but now they're trying to normalize one article that really really struck me the most is a RMIT University lecture now I've actually um, this is the email that he sent that's his name right here um, this is the email that he sent want to get full marks for today's assessment now I know the assessment were five five percent for project marks <coughs> he stated that all you need to do is email the group selfie around the crowd strike if one condition further is less than half of the group members will not be accepted so this is like bribing this is outrageous I used to go to this university but just doing um, TAFE courses man but if teachers are bribing like that now I've checked his profile his LinkedIn and his RMIT profile he's a doctor he's a PhD engineer he's more of the vehicle automotive but man you're having teachers that start bribing students this is beyond amazing to be honest with you guys